I'm really stunned. I I, I kind of kind of had taken it for granted that Dawson and Bylev we were going to get in, and I was kind of confident that Robbie was going to get in, and you know to see how it turned out. I mean, you know, Bylev comes up five votes short, Alomar eight votes short, five blank ballots. That that kills me. Uh, you know, as a Hall of Famer, it's it's hard because. Uh, you know, I said the year that I went in, you almost feel guilty going in on the first ballot when you know these other guys have been, you know, waiting for such a long time. But, you know, as I have been a Hall of Famer for a couple of years now, you 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 kind of you, you start to try to understand the process. And and I'll be honest, I don't. So um, for me, this is uh, I'm kind of surprised. I really thought those three guys had a really good chance of getting in and. Uh, and and like you guys said, I, I'm extremely happy happy for Andre Dawson. He's waited a long time, and um, and happy that he got in. But you know, I still think there's some deserving guys on the ballot. Tony, when you sit there, before we get to Robbie specifically, you made a comment I want to ask you about. You talked about the five blank ballots, and we've talked about that too. How ridiculous that is. As a former player, knowing how much respect you had for your peers and vice versa, does it almost every year, year after year, become more of a conversation among the players behind the scenes that it should be the peers and not the writers covering the game who should be doing the voting? Man, that's a good question because I, when I was playing, I, I kind of felt that way. I kind of felt like, um, you know, I think as players you kind of understand what everybody has to go through and and maybe we're the best <laughs> people to vote on it and um uh, but i i think the right i think you have to be objective and it's hard you know there's no question this is not an easy process the problem for me is you know you get a bunch of writers who really take it seriously and really do their homework and and you know they're doing their homework because from november until you know january 1st you know writers are calling me asking me about andre dawson asking me about bird blylevin asking me about uh, Roberto Alomar and Rock Reigns and Barry Larkin, and, and you so you know that they're doing their homework. And and when five guys turn in a blank ballot, I, I'm, I'm, you know, and there's every year there's always going to be uh, those types of things happening, whether it's a blank ballot or only voting for one guy when you can vote for ten guys. You know, we're not on that committee, and you know they get to decide what they want to do.